Daniel Lara, better known as Damn Daniel, had his life change in 2016 when he simply just showed up to school. In a world where many are scheming up the next viral internet trend in hopes to blow up and live the life they've always dreamed, others happen to be in the right place at the right time, which was the case of Damn Daniel. After a viral video that he didn't even post himself, he found himself on an elite list of the 30 most influential people on the internet. But years later, Damn Daniel is nowhere to be found. Daniel Laura was born April 4th, 2001 in Riverside, California. One day, like pretty much every single one of us, he just simply showed up for school. But in Daniel's case, he slipped on his vans and went to school. Before school that day, these vans were valued at the stock price, but the value would quickly skyrocket, but we will get to that in a bit. Daniel is walking down the hall at school and his buddy pulls out his phone and records a video and posts it to Snapchat. Damn, Daniel, back at it again with the white man. Close friends of the two started to give feedback saying that the videos were hilarious and they should continue to post the videos to Snapchat. It wasn't just people from the school that loved the video. In fact, it started spreading across the internet like wildfire. Damn, Daniel! Damn, Daniel! Damn, Donna! Daniels across the world were gaining new nicknames from the video. You were no longer Daniel, you were Damn Daniel. Just when you thought things would settle down, and the two probably assumed that they had their 10 seconds of fame, things would get even crazier. Vans beat expectations for the quarter for profits and sales. The direct-to-consumer sales spiked by 20% and online sales spiked by 30%. And Daniel even got a special shout out from the Vans COO and President Steve Rendell saying, How can we not mention Daniel? As in, damn Daniel. Which, as you can imagine, did have a strong impact on the sales of white vans which saw a 100% sell through in both retail direct-to-consumer and wholesale channels. The national media attention the brand received is a wild demonstration of how creative expression, youth culture, and loyalty can conspire to cause a phenomenon. Well done, Daniel. Well done. Not too long after the video, Daniel was featured on Ellen along with his friend Josh Holtz, who was the cameraman in the video and the kid who first cued the term, damn Daniel. If you thought that this viral video was going to stop at Ellen, then you are sadly mistaken because things did not stop there. While Daniel was on Ellen, she informed him that he was getting a lifetime supply of vans. The viral video was great for vans because they were getting free exposure and marketing from the video and the sales reflected. At this point, we really don't know too much about Daniel as he didn't even talk in the video and was a man of few words on Ellen. Shortly after receiving the Lifetime Vans donation, Daniel did something that showed us a different side of him, a side that would take this moment and turn it into something special, not for himself but for other people. Daniel donated the shoes to a local children's hospital. He could have had a lifetime supply of shoes to himself, but he decided to do good with the position that he was in. And the big question for a lot of people would be, what's next for Damn Daniel? The whole Damn Daniel saga was a pretty unique incident. Nothing ever told us that Daniel even wanted this attention in the first place. Yes, he agreed to be on Ellen, but at the time that had to be a pretty hard situation to pass up no matter who you are. The white vans that Daniel wore in the video ended up selling on eBay for over $300,000. This was not one of those situations where someone lists a product for an absurd price. The damn Daniel shoes were actually a hot commodity on eBay with over 80 bids. But don't you worry, if you lost out on that $300,000 bidding war, it's okay. You can get the white vans on their website for just $55. Just when everything seemed great for Daniel, he started to see the negative sides of fame pretty quickly. His friend Josh Holtz got swatted. Leslie and Philip, in the last week, the damn Daniel video has exploded on social media, being retweeted hundreds of thousands of times. Celebrities, even some of the Lakers, making their own version of the video. And it's that popularity that police believe may have made one of the teens who was involved in making this and then posting it a target for this swatting hoax. Swatting is a dumb internet prank where a fake 911 call is made. The call is usually crazy enough to send the SWAT team, cueing the term getting swatted. 
Someone called and said that Josh's mom had been shot. Authorities arrived to find his mom thankfully perfectly fine and it turned out just to be a prank. This side of being famous is not for everyone. You see streamers get swatted often, but that is the territory that comes with streaming and you are voluntarily putting yourself in the public eye. Nothing ever told us that Daniel Lara wanted this attention in the first place. At the time of this recording, it has been about 8 years since the world was blessed with the damn Daniel video. Over the last 5 years, Daniel has been nowhere to be found. He allegedly chose to live a quiet life in New York City. Well, as quiet of a life as you can live in New York City. He was offered multiple modeling jobs after the viral video and could have probably easily rode his fame to wherever he wanted to, but he chose to ride that fame to a normal life. You are probably wondering too if Josh Holtz, the cameraman who was featured on Ellen along with Daniel was able to make anything from the damn Daniel video. Josh Holtz appears to be living his best life and has a decent following on social media. I am sure if damn Daniel ever wanted to come back into the public eye that he would be greeted with open arms but from what we have learned about Daniel I do not see that ever happening. Thanks for watching, smash that like button if you enjoyed, subscribe so you don't miss any future videos, and until next time, check this video out, it's a doozy.